Okay, so today we're going to have a quick look at hoisting in JavaScript and we're going to briefly cover what it is and we're going to touch on how it works. So I think the best, uh, the best method of explaining what hoisting is, is to start with an example. So if I zoom in up here, just so you mobile guys can see the code, I'm just going to write a little bit of JavaScript and I'm going to say alert whatever and this isn't a string this is actually supposed to be a variable here so what I'm going to do is copy this go back to the Chrome dev console and I'm going to paste this in and run that and as you can see here we're getting an error a reference error where Chrome's complaining that the variable whatever hasn't actually been defined yet so, and that kind of makes sense because we haven't defined it at all. So just to add to this, what I'm going to do is leave that there. And then underneath it, I'm going to define the variable. So var whatever equals, and I'm just going to set it to a string saying exists. Okay. So what I'm going to do there is copy that and paste it back into the console and if I go up slightly now we have undefined coming back so this is interesting now instead of complaining that the variable didn't exist we're now getting a complaint that it just doesn't have anything inside it so that means it does exist uh, but it just hasn't been defined yet so what that's telling us, if I click OK here, what that's telling us is that the variable has actually been found. Although it's been defined after where it's been used, it has been found in this call here. So the name, you could say the name has been hoisted up uh, to the top of the, the script. So this code, although it's only two lines, is the equivalent of us actually writing var whatever up here so we're defining it up here and then later on we could um, actually fill it with something so we're saying it exists up here we're declaring it I guess um, and down here we're actually setting it so to think of hoisting think of variable definitions being pushed up to the names of the definitions being pushed up to the top of the scripts. So this is kind of what it's adding to the top of the script, although it's that's not actually there. That's kind of how it works. Okay, um, just to move on from that, hoisting uh, works with functions as well in a similar way to with variables. So to explain that, I'll give another example. So what we'll do here is we'll say we'll call a function called whatever and later on after that we'll define this function as so. So we'll say here it is. Okay. And as you know, this is fine. Um, and making this call will run this whole function. And just to give a demonstration of that, I'll refresh this just to clear whatever's in the console. And then we'll get here it is. So that name there has been found as that function and the whole contents of that function um, has been hoisted up with it. So although the use of that, that name is before where it's been defined, it's able to find that. It knows that it exists and not only does it know it exists but it knows the contents of it and it knows to run that. So that's, that's great, and that means um, 
you can keep all your function calls at the start of your script, keep things really simple, and then anywhere else in your script you can define your functions and so on. And there's one um, interesting sort of gotcha with this. So first of all, let's just say uh, what's going on here is called function definition hoisting. Okay, and one thing that's really important, I'll type it out, is function definition hoisting only occurs for function declarations not function expressions. Okay, so I'll say that again. Function definition hoisting only occurs for function declarations and not for function expressions. Okay, so what we have here, where I'm highlighting, is a function declaration. And a function expression is where you start declaring the function with a var. So, as an example, Let's get rid of this. And let's say, just to keep it simple, we'll make a call to a function called A, and straight after it, we'll make a call to a function called B. And we're going to define these in slightly different ways. So let's start with the first one, A. So for this one, we'll use a function declaration, and we'll say function A and we'll put an alert out saying A. Okay, so this is the same as what we did just now with the other function. And for function B, we're going to use a function expression and we're going to say var B equals function. And then we're going to put an alert in here which says B. Okay, so I'm going to copy this you may be able to work out what's going to happen just by looking at this now. Um, so I'll copy this. Go back to Chrome. I'll refresh that again just to clear the, uh, the variables. Okay, and I'll paste it in and press Enter. So now the first alert is A, which is great. And that's because A has called this function here and not only has it found the name of the function which is a it's found the contents of the function or the um, the function definition and that's why the alert has popped up saying a okay and if I close that one we don't have a second alert at all and instead we have this error here so we have a type error where undefined is not a function. So what this is telling us here is that because it's saying undefined, it has found that a variable called b exists, but the definition of the function has not been hoisted along with the name. So what that's telling us is this part here has been hoisted up to the top of the script, which means b does link to a variable, but the actual definition of the function itself, so the alert b, has not been hoisted. So that is what this, this quote here means. Okay. So when you have a normal function declaration, the name and the contents of the function are hoisted to the top of the script. If you have a function expression using this format, then only the name portion of the expression is hoisted to the top of the script. Okay, uh, I hope that's been uh, interesting. If you've learned anything here, please subscribe and like, as I'll be doing more of these soon. Thanks.